Hey everybody, Xavier here once again. Um, I wanted to go ahead and do a quick follow-up video to my last uh, kind of a little walkthrough over uh, a Nook color being rooted and running Cyanogen Mod 7, which is uh, Android 2.3 Gingerbread. Um, and uh, over, over the last video, I had a pretty in-depth uh, kind of walkthrough about a lot of the features and settings on it. And uh, I was actually that as soon as I uploaded that video, I believe um, the Cyanogen Mod team released uh, an updated version specifically for the Nook Color, and I kind of put off updating that one for a really long time, uh, mainly because I work from home, and as you can see, I've got one monitor, two, three, so, um, and we've been doing a ton of overtime and stuff, so, uh, you know, after 45, 46 hours a week of sitting here at this desk, at this computer, um, researching and fiddling around and downloading uh, new ROMs to flash and stuff like that is probably the last thing on my mind so um, finally got around to rectifying it uh, a couple days ago and I just finally got around to putting up this video so um, this is gonna be pretty short compared to the other few videos I've posted since it's gonna be basically the same thing as before except there's a couple of uh, added features and tweaks that I want to show you guys um, and talk about a couple of different apps and stuff so uh, let's go ahead and let's skip straight to it um, let's power this guy on and um, you, first thing you're going to notice is that I haven't done a whole bunch. <laughs> uh, with my last install, I had widgets everywhere and I had kind of stuff to see everywhere. But like I said, I haven't had a lot of time to be screwing around um, with it like I'd like to. So I pretty much just installed the bare minimum. You know, I've got the uh, Amazon MP3 since I uh, I use the uh, or I used to use the cloud streaming. So I have all my music there. I just got invited to the Google Music Beta, so I should really get around to installing that here and getting all my music synced up and all that. Um, Dropbox, the Android market. Um, I did hack Netflix into working um, on this here for a little while, but uh, with the latest update, it looks like I gotta hack it once again to actually get it working. Um, and uh, I do have Skype and Facebook on here, obviously, and a couple of other things. But um, yeah, I haven't really gotten around to putting stuff on my home screens. I'm keeping it just to three home screens at the moment, and I'm gonna fill up the other two with a couple of widgets and apps that I'm gonna probably use for a while. Um, so first big difference here, if you remember, um, the notification bar on Android has always been up on top. You you always pull it down like a little like a little drawer, and it's got a couple of settings and stuff like that here. But um, as far as uh, a tablet goes, a tablet that you primarily hold like a book and portrait, it doesn't really make sense to kind of drag your finger all the way up there and bring it bring it down. So uh, one of the big changes here. Um, from the from the Cyanogen mod team is the notification bar and the search buttons and all that stuff instead of being on the top right corner being kind of annoying to access it's down here at the bottom now where it makes so much more sense so you've got your menu button so you click that and that brings you your menu and settings um, and that works the same when you're in app and you're uh, doing whatever it is that you're doing we've got a back button we've got a search button a little power button and then um, that little button there with the little arrows pointing down what that does is when you're in a full screen application that hides that little row so they've pretty much um, for the most part kind of gotten rid of the need to use that little like twitchy software that I used to have called soft keys where you would press it and it would bring like the back button the menu button on screen that that has pretty much eliminated it for example if I was here in my Amazon Kindle app and I was reading my book um, as you can see these little buttons stay down here so you know, if I need to do anything weird, instead of bringing up soft keys or doing anything like that, it's all right here. But then, um, so if I needed to do a menu or whatever, you'll see it's all there. And also, just in case I wanted, to, you know, I like I said, I read a lot before I go to sleep. So, at, you know, as I'm reading and going to bed, I'm not really fiddling around with the tablet very much. I'm just reading. So I just you just tap that little arrow, and that kind of gets rid of it. So you've got your full screen, and uh, that goes the same for games and other things that take up the full screen. So that's a very very nice change there and that little power switch what that does is it brings up it it brings up the uh, notification um, drawer and it brings it up immediately so any kind of notifications you would have here twitter mentions facebook messages whatever it would show up here like normal and then down at the bottom once again flipped from the top you have your audio settings your gps your bluetooth and your wi-fi so you probably can't see that very well i'm really sorry once again shitty webcam sorry um, so that's like a, a real big, um, it might seem like a super minor change, but like I said, when you get used to, I mean, when you're dealing with the device that you're holding in portrait, it just makes sense to have it down here by your thumbs. So very, very much uh, have been enjoying that. And um, another thing, I'm not sure if it has anything to do with, uh, 
with the cyanogen mod update that I installed, but um, it definitely has seemed to improve for me, des like wildly, is um, the battery life. Um, I honestly can't remember when the last time I plugged this thing in was, but um, I'm barely now starting to get down below around 40%, 30%. So I wanted to go ahead and take a look with you guys, and uh, let's see, um, let's see what's changed there. How how long I've been without a charge? Holy crap! So four hours, four days. I'm sorry, four days, three hours, eight minutes, 53 seconds on battery since it was last plugged in and uh, I mean I, I don't I don't put this thing to through so much abuse you know um, but I mean I do have it you know always connected to Wi-Fi I pick it up in the morning to read and, and like I said I read quite a bit on Amazon Kindle so um, that's that's really really staggering because like I said before I was averaging a day or two um, of normal use and then I would have to charge it but now we're going on four and I could probably still pull another full day out of this so Another very very nice uh, added uh, benefit there from up from updating to the uh, the latest version. So um, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. I do have one more plug to do here, and that is if you do not have the Amazon App Store for Android, you are missing out on a ton of super cool, super free things. Um, on both your phone or your tablet or whatever, since I have both uh, my Nook and my Evo. Any kind of uh, any kind of uh, app that I download on one goes to the other, and vice versa. Um, now, the thing with the Amazon App Store is that they have one paid app a day for free. So, just to give you an example, today we have Pac-Man for free, and it's regularly a 4.99 app. So, I encourage you guys to download this. Um, I've gotten a lot of cool games and stuff off of it that I would have otherwise had to have paid for. For example, I did download Pac-Man just today. Um, but even a bigger surprise here, whoops, an even bigger surprise was yesterday, the free app of the day was Plants vs. Zombies. So, again, this app is, I don't know how much, two bucks, three bucks, uh, I'm not sure how much it is, but I got it entirely for free, and now I have the freedom to play it here on my tablet or on my phone. So... And as you can see, like I pointed out earlier, these little buttons stay down here. So when you're in a full screen game, instead of you know tapping the the end to go home and lose all your progress, as you can see here, we're able to play Plants vs Zombies. And the performance is pretty sweet. Again, um, you're probably not going to see it all that well because my camera is choppy as crap. But I mean, it plays just as well as it would play on anything else. So uh, for the time being. Um, I'm very satisfied here with my with my nut color. I know I am going to. I'm already starting to get kind of twitches and uh, excited about getting a Android Honeycomb tablet. So I know I'm probably going to get the Acer Iconia or um, the the Asus Transformer or whatever. Um, I'm probably going to end up caving in and buying one of those eventually, just because I want Android Honeycomb. Uh, which, uh, by the way, sidetrack. I tried installing Honeycomb on this, and it does not run very well sadly um, sad to say it does not uh, run well at all it was a very jerky experience uh, so I, I that's why I reverted back and I installed this once again um, so yeah that's pretty much it guys um, not a whole lot of changes like I said just uh, mostly stability and speed um, as well as uh, that awesome added battery life and that's about it so install that at that uh, Amazon App Store um, and get some free paid apps you're not going to regret it um, as always guys if you have any questions or you have anything that you'd like to see or anything like that feel free to message me um, I know these last uh, I know I have a couple of messages that I'm pending on answering and I do apologize for that but like I said I've been super busy with work and stuff so um, just bear with me and um, message me and let me know anything that you might want to see or uh, you might want me to try anything you want me to demonstrate and I'll do my best to get back to you guys so uh, once again thanks for watching and Enjoy your Androids.